Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Another thing I noticed that really is strange to me is the fact that in this day and age, I have never seen such disrespect toward parents and authority that I see now. Now, one of the things I think contributed to that is when they decided parents should not use capital punishment on their children. In other words, a little booty whooping was almost considered a crime. It's a crime to abstain. Listen to this, because this is what ends up happening. When you have children coming up and there are no boundaries, there are no parameters, sitting in the corner facing the wall, that, that ain't about doo-doo when it comes to kids who are already hard-headed and disobedient. That ain't nothing. And you sitting up here thinking that's going to make them think and change. Whatever. Listen. When the Bible says beat them, they won't die. It ain't talking about a little pat-pat. Talking about wear that butt out a little bit. Warm it up. Turn it red. Make them feel a little something back there. Don't beat them with your fists and abuse them. No. But there are lessons in life. And if you teach your child from the beginning, there are no consequences to ugly behavior. They go through life feeling entitled. They can act any way they want. So they think. And life owes them. The world owes them. Because they don't have to pay for any crimes. They don't have to pay any consequences. Government said they can't get whooped. So if they can't get whooped, then guess what? Can't nobody touch this? Yeah, well, check it out. This is what God says. Mm, mm, mm. Because, see, those kind of kids are the ones that raise up in their parents' faces. And they cuss them out. And they hit them. Hit them back. They have temper tantrums. They tear up a room. I mean, we'll cuss, call their mother and father, a B-I-T, blah, 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 call them an M. I mean, they'll call them all kind of names because there are no parameters. There are no limits. All the limits are off. All bets are off. Do what you want to do. Listen. Back to the same chapter, Leviticus chapter 20. Mm-hmm. And I want every one of you to hear this. Verse 9. For everyone that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. God wasn't playing. We play tiddlywinks now, but God was not playing. If he didn't like it then, what do you think he thinks about it now? When it's happening everywhere. He hath cursed his father or his mother. His blood shall be upon him. So for those of you parents who think sticking them in the corner... And shaking your little finger in the air saying, no, no, I told you, no, 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 mommy said no, 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 you get that belt and let the belt talk for you. They'll get the message. But where there are no consequences, you have committed a crime from Jump Street because that child's life will be cursed with a curse. Think about it next time you reframe your hand. Stop it. I said, st sit down. Don't you look at me crazy. And, you know, here's the sad part. The kids, they know their parents don't mean it because the parents don't do anything. They threaten. Now, if you do that, I'm going to take away your toy. whoop de do. That's the end of the world. I know they're just shaking in their boots. Please. Get up off of that mamby-pamby parenting. And get real. 
You want to save your child's life. You want to save them from prison. You want to save them from dope addiction. You want to save them from growing up like a weed psychologically as well as as well as naturally. You better get yourself busy and start disciplining that child while they still have a fighting chance at life. Or you have cursed them because there'll come a day when they will raise up against you and they will knock you flat on your can. Okay, let me tell this story. I got to tell it because it's coming to my mind. My father, we had a neighbor next door. This lady had a son. We'll call him KK because I don't want to say the name. KK was four years old, and KK, take my word for it, was a handful. He was one ugly child, and I'm not talking about looks. He was cute when it comes to looks, but he was an ugly little beast of a child. Why? Because mommy wouldn't spank the little boy. Mommy thought he was cute, even when he hit her, and when he slapped her her hand and when he threw things in her face she thought ah he plays too rough my father sat her down one day he said you know what he said you think that's cute now but one day when that boy is 17 years old he's gonna rise up against you and knock you flat on your you know what and my father said the you know what word starting with an a Knock you flat on your on, on your you know what. And you're going to be shocked. Because he's going to start whooping your behind. If you don't start whooping his now. Think about that next time you refrain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 